wrote on the tablets. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I mean, technically, communication. It means, I think it means what's in the middle. It, mm -hmm. I think it, it, it has something to do with being in the middle, uh, mm -hmm. which know, is how we were supposed balanced, to be. Yeah. Balanced uh, perspectives, yeah. Uh, singular uh, Telephone at one point had this promotion where they were running me, D, uh, in other words, they were referring to their phones, they were referring to individuals. And I think that's what's going to happen in the future. We're going to see more people like myself running around with laptops and handheld devices that are going to have constant access to all kinds of little things that are going on and, and uploading that. And as we are with YouTube, you know, it's going to take a more advanced stage. I wanted to ask you about women in ownership of major broadcasting entities, i.e. the technology that runs it, because we're going more and more towards technology with Google, and Google is a media company. So how will women access ownership of, in, you know, Rupert Murdoch's in a certain position, et cetera? Who will be the, the Rupert Murdoch's of the future? Well, it's hard to name names, but, mm -hmm. and women have lagged behind in all the Fortune 500 and corporate positions everywhere, but I have no doubt that we're going to catch up, um, but I certainly can't name names. But I'm sure there are some companies out there, new companies, maybe social media companies that women are launching. Maybe it's probably going to be Oprah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oprah's Oprah's on her yeah. way. Uh -huh. She has a stake in Discovery yeah. Channel, I yeah. believe. Yeah. She has <laughs> and she's what is it? Are the cable um, that she's getting ready to do? Um, oh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's in conjunction with Discovery yes, Channel, yes. uh, Oprah Winfrey Network. But then we talked earlier about Ariana Huffington. I mean, she's got the Huffington Post, but she's a powerful, wealthy woman with wealthy connects that has gleaned a little bit, like you said, from all of her men. Um, well, she, she could be Tina Brown, who was the Daily Beast. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so there are some, but, they're out but there. I, think that, I think part of what, what your, your question is partly answered by what you're doing yourself. Mm -hmm. it, it, any woman who can take a computer and do what you're doing has a shot. It, I mean, because the content, that's the most important thing. The content is still something that's creative. It's coming from, from a human being. You know, we, we can't not have programming when we've got, you know, 74 hours. You were talking about an interview you did uh, a week ago with somebody. Um, Soledad O'Brien. You had to recognize Soledad O'Brien. You had to have some questions that you were going to ask Soledad O'Brien. You had to know how you wanted to shoot it, where you wanted to shoot it. So, I mean, these are all things that I think in some ways, the new media has made it easier for women uh, to break into. I don't know if anybody here remembers the, um, it was a British show, uh, there was a pilot, and then there were a couple episodes uh, by uh, Ma Max Headroom. Mm -hmm. Max Headroom. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a woman could be Max Headroom. There's mm -hmm. no reason that, uh, you know, uh, now the big, huge media conglomerate that Max Headroom worked for in the, in the story, he was a, one of these solo guys out, out with his camera. Um, you know, the bad guys uh, owned everything and ran everything, but they couldn't stop Max Headroom mm -hmm. because he had the ability to go on the air whether they wanted him or not. Yes. 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 Portrays very serious news issues in your community, like John Stewart, for example, who has 